So I'm going to show you a cheap method of how to uh, actually get your bearings out of your suspension arms. Uh, and one of the reasons why you want to do this, if you look inside the pockets here, you can see all this material, paint, rough materials. Uh, I'm supposing that when they were piggyback the bearings, um, if they didn't line up properly, um, they may have gotten hit with a mallet, but there's a lot of rough edges in here. So if you put two bearings back to back, they're going to be malaligned. So uh, now that I got these out, I'm just going to get in there and clean this up. Um, but I want to show you really an inexpensive method of doing this. So I have a vise, and normally there's uh, uh, jaws that are on the vise, and there's holes that hold in the jaws, there's uh, screws. Well, I just took the screws out, uh, took the jaws off, and then put in two sockets that are going to act as my uh, bearing extraction. Uh, this one here happens to be an 11 millimeter, which fits in really nice for my bearing. And then this is a three quarter inch. So as we move things together, it will push out the bearings with enough leverage that will make them pop. So we'll start with this one. This is a double uh, piggyback bearing. So we're just gonna kinda line it up. Make sure it's in the pocket. I guess I should say that what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna hitting the outer race. If you hit the inner race, it's just gonna pop, uh, pop the bearing and uh, it'll come into pieces. You wanna hit the outer piece uh, the outer race, which is difficult to see because there's so much paint in there. So both bearings popped right on out. Just got to get them on this here. There they go. Now we'll do this one. So you don't need an expensive bearing press to do this. You just need to have make sure your vise is anchored really well. And there it is. So pretty darn simple. So now what I'll be doing is cleaning all this to make sure my new bearings go in properly and they're not malaligned.